Good morning. It's Saturday the 21st of May 2022 and it is about 10 past seven and I'm getting myself ready because we're going to Aldi before work. I don't particularly want to but we've literally running out of everything in the cupboards so we need to go and get some shopping. I'm putting some makeup on but I'm not putting my um, BB cream on today because I've got really dry skin again and it just you know it sits in the dry skin doesn't it and it looks horrible so uh, maybe I need to drink more water. Um, thank you to everybody that commented on my last video. I think it was hard for me to disguise but I was feeling quite down. <laughs> I was trying to be positive believe it or not. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's just you know it just seems like one thing after another at the moment you know. Uh, life was just sort of starting to get normal again and then we've been hit by a a world war and a cost of living crisis haven't we so uh, selfishly uh, I'm more concerned about myself I know get a grip woman um so yeah thank you to all the comments and anybody who reached out to me and um Jilly for ordering on my website as well Right, I'm going to finish getting myself ready, go to Aldi, get some shopping. Do you want to see what we get? I might show you some snippets. Um, I won't have time to walk Jenny though, I don't think. I might. I'll have to see, but it does look nicer today. A bit more of a blue sky. Um, the shop's picked up a little bit, as in after I finished my vlog on whatever day that was, Thursday, I had a few sales, uh, so it picked up a little bit. And then yesterday it was, again, a little bit better. You know, still not great, but not as disastrous, as I say. So fingers crossed that today will be an okay day as well. Although last Saturday I did 20 quid, so... Ignore the dust. But I've got little chilli peppers growing on my bedroom window. A lot of the plants have gone down to the allotment now. But here we've got some more tomato plants because they're selling quite well outside. So more, these are money maker ones. And we've got spinach growing here and garlic chives. And then on this windowsill, we've got foxgloves that are just coming up. Uh, more tomatoes, but cherry ones more spinach and then my husband forgot to label these so he can't remember what they are but we think they're like a a smaller sunflower we're back from Aldi it's about five five to nine I feel like we've done a round of supermarket sweep my breath carrying this all up the stairs as well so I've piled it all on the paper on the table and I'm going to show you the pile of stuff that we got so we got all of that Ignore those tins on the end, that's seeds for the allotment. Um, guess how much it came to? It came to £85. When considering we got a little amount from Sainsbury's the other day and it came to 62 Jenny's going nuts because my husband's just coming back and parking the car. You'll see her back. <laughs> okay, ignore the mad dog in the background. We've got normal stuff like potatoes and onions, yoghurt, some like actmel type drinks these are like herters they're just useful to have in occasionally pork loin steaks i can't remember how much any of this costs um a whole chicken so that we can have like a roast and then curry leftovers gammon joints useful to have in the freezer a block of cheese some ham for my sandwiches bacon again is useful for the freezer Pack of butter. Oh, I should have found the price of the pack of butter, shouldn't I? We had these, some of these last night that we had in the freezer. They're really nice, actually. And then we got some ice creams. These, we had something like this years ago and they were really nice. So we thought we'd try them. And then some of their equivalent of Magnums. And then some frozen peas and sweet corn. We got some raspberries and mixed fruits because we're making quite a lot of crumble at the moment because we've got rhubarb ready at the allotment. 
uh, seeds. I've got two lots of sunflower seeds and two lots of pumpkin seeds. I think they're one twenty nine a packet. Um, we use a lot and we're totally out of them. And also some carnas. These little packets of rice are ideal when there's just two of us. So I got a mixed pepper rice and a basmati one. Got a few in the cupboard. But I also got a pack of rice because my daughter's coming home soon. So when it's three of us, then they might be a bit small. Um, a bag of oats for my breakfasts. Tins of custard to go with those crumbles that we're making. These are like chocolate hobnobs and a hell of a lot cheaper. Somebody said on my... <laughs> Uh, comments the other day that a packet of chocolate hobnobs was £1.60 so I'll try and look up how much these are because these are just as nice and that can you remember I said we had this a few weeks ago and it was really nice and I saw this Lone Ranger on a shelf abandoned and I thought I'm having that god knows how much it cost but it was lovely it's the last time these are good this is one of our favorite meals butter chicken you like put it in the bag so it's quite good for not making too much mess and um, you basically cook the cut up chicken in the bag, add the spices and a bit of water, and that's it. We add some veggies and stuff in there as well, and it works fine. Uh, this for my sandwiches. Do like a bit of that, and it's because I don't like mayonnaise. Um, bananas, spring onions, broccoli. We've got a lot of carrots left and some parsnips. And then things are starting to be ready, like spinach and that at the allotment, so... Um, pears and some garlic. These are really useful, little squeezy things. Um, we would have got a, a garlic one, but they didn't have any left. So they're quite handy and easy. These are for me. And these, my husband said he'd like, we might share them. <laughs> some tomatoes, eventually ours will be ready. These are like shreddies. And these are like 69p or something compared to about three pounds, I think, shreddies are now. And they're not bad. They're not exactly the same, but they're not bad. And then this is like Special K oats and honey. That's my husband, that one. This shampoo, I tried it and initially I thought I didn't like it. It's quite watery, but after I'd used it for a few weeks... I thought that my hair felt nicer and it actually seemed to stay clean for longer, so I'm carrying on with it. Some chocolate bars, so these are like uh, Twixes, and these are like Mars bars ones. The Racers, which are the ones that are like Snickers, are my daughter's favourites, but they didn't have any of those. Chopped tomatoes, because you can never have too many. Mixed beans, likewise, you can make chilli or in the curry or whatever. Some bleach. Some tins of dog food. A tin like that, we mix with dried food. And then if we've had vegetables and stuff, we have those as well. Oh, we've got a chicken one. We shouldn't have got a chicken one. Oops. Jenny doesn't agree with chicken, doesn't agree with her. Um, that tin will probably last four or five days. Uh, milk. Two lots. Some little... Bin liners for the kitchen composty thing. I don't know if you have that in your area, but we have to put the kitchen compost separate. I think that is everything. And it came to 85 quid. I don't think that's bad, really. The chocolate OTs, 59p. That's not bad, is it? And these packets of Twix and uh, Mars equivalents are 62p each for a packet. What else were we going to look at? The seeds are £1.39. Oh, hang on. Pumpkin seeds are £1.39 and the sunflower seeds are £1.29. Um, mixed beans, those tins, they're 58p. I don't know how they compare with Sainsbury's. I know some things aren't any cheaper, really. And the tins of tomatoes, 38p. Oh, and the pies that I showed you, those, pound eighty-nine for the two, which isn't bad. Um, these are pound fifteen. And how much are those? The wafer things, pound thirty-five for eight. That's not bad, is it? 
and the madras chapati thing is £1.89. Bargain. It's about 10 past 10 and I've just got finished up putting everything outside. Um, I was a little bit late coming down as in I was 10 o'clock and there was somebody on the door <laughs> and then they just sort of stood in the way as I was trying to get my things outside and stuff but it's all done now. Um, I've had a lovely walk with Jenny, had a chat with Bex and uh, my sister-in-law and my mum so that was good and um, I've just, just knocked Teddy off the shelf. Right, I'm going to sit with my cup of tea and make a list. Had my cup of tea, made a list. It's not a very long one today. I'm not, I'm not straining myself today. Um, I'm going to edit my husband's finished his kind of vlog thing, but I edit them together. So he sent me all those little video clips. So I need to edit those. So though I'll be doing that today, probably this morning. Um, so if you haven't watched already link in the description box for those if you're nosy and want to see what my husband is up to while I'm at work. It's 11 o'clock so I've been open an hour and I've already taken three times as much as I did the whole of Saturday last week so look smile on my face. I changed back into this because I was too hot in my jumper after taking Jenny for a walk and this is like bright and colourful it's not like me it's about quarter past twelve. And I'm just finishing my lunch. My husband made me some cheese on toast with a bit of salad. Well, that was embarrassing. Somebody was just in the doorway. Um, yeah, I've just had my lunch. My husband made me some cheese on toast and some leftover crumble and custard. Yum. And I got a cup of tea. Um, thank you to Veronica for your ordering on my website. I'm packing it now as we speak, but it will have to wait until Monday to be sent out because the post office is closed now. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I had some sales this morning and I've had people in but nobody's been buying since. Anywho, I've been editing my husband's video which took me ages, ages and ages. <laughs> it's now uh, uploading to the YouTubes. I think I'm cursed with technology. Every time I try to log into anything I have troubles at the moment. I don't know what's going on. I was trying to get onto the East Devon district council thing just about a planning application that I want to object to because I'm that kind of person yeah so <laughs> and I've got an account obviously because I'm always objecting this, is, this isn't true at all I've objected once before and this time I'll tell you what it's about Sainsbury's behind us um when it was built they took on the town count the town car park part of the agreement was that it would always be available to people to shop and it wasn't exclusively for Sainsbury's customers it was for anybody well now they want to put signs up you know with these uh number recognition car park cameras um and on the sign it says for Sainsbury's customers and that was never the agreement when they got the planning permission so I think I've got a valid reason to object <laughs> but anyway I couldn't get into my account <laughs> And then I wanted to do something on Amazon and I couldn't get in on that. I'm just steering clear of all technology for a while. <sighs> I've had a few more customers, so that is good. And I thought there was something else I was going to tell you, but I can't remember what it was. It's about half past two and it's like the complete opposite of last week. I feel like I've been really busy. One, I was took me ages to edit my hubby's video, but that's by the by. I've been busy with people as well. I've had some traders in. I've just had to phone my friend who makes the planters for me to order some more planters because in the last two days I have sold seven. <laughs> so I've asked him to make me some more. Um, I'm just trying to get a bit of listing done so that it ticks along. Um, but otherwise, yeah, just don't feel like I've had a minute to myself, which is the way it should be. Right, I'm going to sign off. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you 
so much for all your support when I'm miserable. I really do appreciate it. And your support when I'm not miserable, because I'm not miserable all the time, am I? Am I? Gold star if you've made it this far. Thumbs up, so appreciated. Anna, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.